um, I'm Navya, I'm from India, and I've been on board for about six months now. I joined in South Africa, Richards Bay, as uh, one of the crew members, and it's such a pleasure to be in my second country now with Logos Hope. It's so delightful, and I'm so glad to get to meet so many people. And as you all know, I'm Paulenta, I'm from Cameroon. I'm almost a Namibian now because I've been here already for the past two months. <laughs> that we have in our book fair, we already have that original experience where we have people coming from all over to just have the unique experience to visit, to browse over the 5,000 types of books. What is more interesting for me is the way that we were welcomed into the country. <laughs> go and go. go and tell. Um, it's been such heartwarming for all of us already being here for one week. And we have seen your heart, we are seeing your presence on board the Logos Hope. And the first week, uh, the total visit, number of visitors that climbed on the gangway of the Logos of was 26,000, almost 27,000 people already climbed on the gangway of the Logos of in just nine days. And this is just the love that you are showing to us as a community. And not just that, we have seen different key programs happen on board the Logos Hub, such as the official opening that we have the full house for people from almost all around the stakeholders and ministers coming to open the ship to the public and this is also something that was remarkable for us as a community and listening to different people different speeches during the program it was just uh, that moment that we can just realize your heart for us as a community and also just welcoming us to your community in different platforms and we also experienced uh, a special crew for a day where we actually welcome the different stakeholders coming to volunteer for one day on board the logo. So where the governor himself was there, the head of the police commissioner was there. We have some key people, the director of a Namport was there to volunteer for one day. Some of them were serving in the um, hotel services where they were cleaning toilet and cleaning the dishes. Uh, we saw uh, the Namport director, he was in the galley cooking food and washing dishes. For the community, we saw uh, the governor himself in the engine room uh, cleaning the LOP, is a system working all around just to serve the community. And this is just few names to mention. And we, the first group will receive 20 people from the government office coming to serve. And today, again, as I'm speaking, we have a group of different uh, stakeholders. Uh, they are there already serving. Ms. Elu was there this morning, serving part of the community, being serving the community, and just offering that time to serve and this is such we as a community we have never experienced such before to have COO directors coming to volunteer for one day and this is also just a time where we want to appreciate the uh, country we want to say thank you for all what you've been doing already for us just in one week and we have key events that took place on board the ship I can mention fathering the next generation and one of the key reasons we have this event was because we want to be part of the community. We, during our first time here, we already assessed some key issues that is taking place in the country, such as the ball child, the gender-based violence. And the question was, how can we be part of the community? And this was one of the events that uh, fathers, leaders, was invited to have a conversation around the tables. Of course, the governor himself was there to share his own story and see other people as well coming on the table just to be part of the community and discussing how we can continue to support the community and that was a unique time for us as a community as well just to be part as well of your community and this is so uh, such something that our heart is fully moved women event took place on board different programs of course everyone will remember the meet the world event where we were gracious by the presence of the first lady of the country that came to be part of such an event and opening the event by herself and not just that offering how she can be part of the uh, the country library giving some donation to just so we can continue to share knowledge continue to share help continue to share hope with all Namibian people and so this is one of the key things that we are just looking forward with so much joy in our heart, just to see what we were able together to do in one week. And we 
we are looking into this last week that is here in namibia our heart we don't want to leave the country because there's just uh, so much happening but uh, we're looking into how we can make the best for the last yeah, week i will be sharing about what uh, some things that we have planned for this week for the next couple of days until sunday week i think is the church leaders event that's happening on friday in the morning uh, from 10 to around uh, 6 in the evening yeah so yeah that's open uh, for for all the church leaders along with lunch if you have a ticket again and we also have so as far as i know we've had around 78 volunteers local volunteers in this port uh, and we're also giving them a farewell just honoring them for all their help that they've done for us so they've worked in a few departments on board some of them that i can mention are hotel services the galley which is the kitchen the um book fair yeah so these are the departments that they would mostly go and volunteer so we've had around 78 volunteers which is a pretty good number and we just want to thank them and give them like a good farewell because i don't think when we come back maybe next time we they would not see the same people again so we just want to you know say a good uh, nice goodbye for them and also honor them and one of the last events that we have on sunday which is the last day is the, into the marketplace so this is the target audience for this event is mostly the business people and it's, it focuses on them and how they can do better in the field that they work in and yeah more topics like that yeah and i think we have some special speakers as well lined up for that event yeah and yeah so sunday given that sunday is our last day i want to invite everybody who has come already you can come again and you can come and talk to us we have uh, people from 70 different nationalities and on board we have 350 plus people from different nationalities this week from tuesday to friday 11 a.m is open to the public uh, we still have school visit as well happening this week and but that doesn't stop the public to come so it's all together happening and so we're looking forward to just have all Namibian people uh, come and have this moment with us. We want to hear your story. We want as well to share our story. The publicity you. statement we have for Namibia is come and see, go and tell. We just want to share with you, come and see, go and tell. Don't, um, if you haven't been on board, this is your time. This is your season. Please make it uh, to be if you can make it on board this week, uh, you will not regret for sure. And as well, the book fair is open and we we have variety of books. We're just inviting you uh, browse through our book fairs and see what you need for your family, for your children, for your friends. And, not, and so just make a gift for someone if possible. Also, um, like she shared with you about the event that happened on board, it's your opportunity if you haven't attended any event on board. This is the last week. Uh, you can attend any of our events that we are having on board the Logos Hope. Uh, just follow us on Facebook as well. You will know more about what is happening. Oh, we are the world's largest floating book fair. So this is one of the last opportunities. I think I would just want to welcome all the people once again. You have five days left to come on board the world's largest floating book fair. I don't know when you'll get the opportunity again in the next few years, but I want you to grab this opportunity and, you know, come on board. You can spend as much time as you want from you know, 10 in the morning to 8 in the evening. Nobody's going to kick you out. You can come spend the whole day with us if you want to. So, yeah, you can come. But just in case you can't come, I would like you to, you know, uh, keep an eye out on our journey. We will be sharing our journey on social media. So, we have Logos Hope Namibia on Facebook and Instagram. But we also have the official Logos Hope page on Facebook and Instagram. So, you can, you know, follow us and, you know, uh, even on YouTube, I think we're there. So you can follow us. We will be sharing videos and content about where we're going. So next up, a few things that I can share about what we're looking forward to after Namibia is we're going to Angola, Luanda, Angola. So we'll be there for a week almost. And then after that, we are going to two ports in Ghana. So we're going to Tema and Taparali. Yeah. And that's as much as we can confirm for now, but that's something that we're looking forward to our journey so far. So continue to, you know, uh, be a part of our journey. And yeah, we're here to share knowledge, help and hope, as he always said. And yeah, I would like to welcome you all of you all once again. So if you want to get in touch, you can talk to us on social media. We're always welcome. Yeah. Come, Come and see, see go, go and, and tell. tell. <laughs>